head coach Stephanie Mike will hold her opening statement. Yeah, I um, it's disappointing. Certainly, uh, I felt like we had opportunities, you know, in this ball game, and and you know, a couple of plays here and there, um, timely turnovers, missed execution, and and Atlanta, you know, made made plays and made shots when they needed to, especially in the second half and down the stretch. Um, you know, I, I thought we probably, as a staff, could have could have done a better job of, of utilizing our bench. We might have run out of gas in that second half, um, but you know, more than anything. You know, execution. Um, when you're when you're playing the second half of a back-to-back, -back, execution has to be paramount, and and they did a better job of executing that in that second half. Questions? Kayla. I think for the most part, um, pretty good, but I think there are moments, uh, where, where, where it's, it's not uh, as tight as we want it to be. Um, we might have four people on the same page and one not, or three on the same page and two not, um, we might, you know, not make the right read. Um, you know, think we see something that might not be there. You know, I, I think that we know we can be better, especially with a veteran group. Uh, I think we have to be better, you know, especially in, in time and score situations, um, you know, I think more than anything, like our, our, our urgency to, to get started in the action, you know, it's a, it's a little slow and, and sluggish in us in the startup. I feel like our person that's out of bounds is holding the ball for two or three seconds before we even start the action. Um, so there's definitely room for improvement. Um, it's, it's, it's been, um, there have been times where it's been really good and there have been times where it, where it hasn't been as good as it needs to be. Kenneth. I thought they attacked, attacked us. Uh, I thought, you know, they used multiple on-ball screening action and, and, and our point of attack wasn't as good as it needed to be. Um, got us in rotation a little bit, got some rhythm threes. We had um, missed opportunities in terms of uh, how we were executing our ball screen defense, which I think all automatically put us under duress. Um, and, you know, they, they took advantage. You know, they, they did a really good job of staying in motion, of, of attacking and drawing two, of finding the next pass. Um, of, of getting the best shot on the floor instead of settling for the first shot. Maggie. You know, I think it's a combination of things like winning in this league is hard, you know, a night in and night out, um, you know, com compact schedule, you know, going on the road. Um, I mean, we, we've, go on the road and you're playing Vegas and Seattle who are really, really good teams. So you're playing, you know, Washington and Atlanta who even whatever their records might be, they're still in every game and they've got great players on their team. They run a lot of stuff that makes it hard to guard. You know, they're going to, they're challenging teams on, on any night and have opportunities to win. And, and in some cases haven't gotten over the hump and in some cases have been able to. So, you know, I think it's the nature of this league. Um, you know, I think our journey is still consistency for 40 minutes um, you know, we might have uh, one or two or three that are, um, the other thing is we, we got to do a better job of getting breezy involved in the game. You know, I, I felt like we missed opportunities, um, to get her the ball in the interior. We were, you know, maybe moving on to the, to the weak side too quickly, not giving her a look. Um, she doesn't have to shoot it, but she puts a lot of pressure on the defense and, and especially these last two games. Uh, you know, we, we, we've, we've got to do a better job of, as coaches of finding ways to get her touches. These are. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a little deceptive. We do have a break, but we got to go back out west again. You know, we're out west. We come back for two games of back-to-back, -back and 
Um, and then we go back out West. So, you know, scheduling wise, it's, it's not to our advantage. Um, you know, but at the same time, it is what it is. I mean, every team in this league is doing it. So I think for us getting off our feet, um, you know, getting rest, you know, we'll travel out to Phoenix tomorrow. So we have a day to kind of get, get reacquainted, um, with the time zone changes and, 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 and get rest, get treatments, uh, get massages, get whatever we need to get. Um, and then have a, have a day of practice before we play again. And, and we play two really good opponents and, and we got to be ready to go. But the great thing about this league is you've got to turn the page very quickly. Dom, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I'm not sure that that there's ever been a lot of rust with, with Tina Charles. I think just just finding the right situation, you know, sometimes and, and oftentimes, um, you know, in this league, no matter where you are in your career, it's it's finding the right situation. Um, you know, she's she's at a place where uh, they're utilizing her in a way that that is to her advantage, and she's producing. You know, she spent time getting her getting herself right, getting her body right, getting ready to come come back into this league and and uh, and be a key piece. You know, and and being a key piece and being a thirty minute starter. Um, you know, she she's she's continuing to be effective. I think she she's a real does a really good job of of leading this young group of of being somebody that can help them navigate some of the challenges. Um, but but yeah, she was outstanding. Last question, Kenneth. I think the, the biggest thing is just um, reemphasize and take, take your open looks. You know, I felt like she did pass up one. We I think AT had a driving kick to her in a corner on the far end and um, she didn't shoot that. Um, it's and it's oftentimes not taking the sh taking the shots, it's taking the right shots. And, and when we get rotations and we get spray out threes or we get extra passes like those are the ones we got to take. You know, we don't need the contested ones. We don't need the ones behind a handoff. We don't need the ones behind a ball screen. Um, but how we're getting them and then reinforcing the confidence in, in taking those. Um, you know, I, I feel like she's, she did a really good job these last two games of stepping up with confidence and knocking them down. Um, you know, you, you've seen her. She, she shot the ball particularly well um, for most of last year. Um, she's in the gym working on it. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's we just we, – consistently for us, we've got to be a better percentage-wise three-point shooting team uh, in order to compete with, with the really good teams in, for a championship in our league because they're three-point shooters. Last question. Oh, you're good. All right. Thanks, coach. Mm -hmm. Thank you, coach. Okay, we have Dijanae Carrington and Dewana Bonner. Please raise your hand if you have any questions and address the player you have a question for, please. Maggie, go ahead. <laughs> um yeah I mean I'm just a little more comfortable I think in the system and um just, I'm a little more under control most <laughs> most of the time under control is yeah. crazy. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> you go ahead. No, you. Know. I mean, I'm 36 years old, so you can only imagine how I feel. But um, that's not an excuse. That other team don't care that we just came off a back to back. Every team, you know, has a back to back. So uh, we have to be better in that aspect and trying to push through. But credit to them coming in and get a win on our home court. But yeah, definitely <laughs> exhausted. We got in at like what 3:30 a.m uh from an hour drive yeah <laughs> so yeah Evan. oh god <laughs> <laughs> bro be for real 
Oh, uh, yeah. Basketball is at all time high right now. So it's, I'm, you know, just thankful and grateful to be competing right now. <clears throat> right now. So um, I think that's just the main thing. I still feel like I am playing at a high level. Um, and I'm just happy to be in the game of basketball right now. Like I said, it's just a lot of eyes on it in the, in the time and just seeing it grow and uh, being able to be out there and competing with my teammates is uh, it's fun. It's still fun. And once I get done having fun, uh, I hang it up. No telling when that is sooner or later for sure. But <laughs> um, yeah, just excited mm -hmm. to compete. But seven is crazy. That's a lot of games. <laughs> Any other questions for the players? I mean, I know I can shoot the ball. I definitely, obviously, was in a slump. I probably made more threes the last two games than I had the whole season. But um, I kind of started my count over when I cut my nails. I told y'all that. <laughs> so I think that was a couple weeks ago. So I'm I'm probably shooting close to 50% since I've done that. So sometimes you got to not try to be too cute. We'll have to find that. I'm the, for sure and see. I'll, I'll crunch yeah, the numbers. Check the for analytics. You. Okay. <laughs> Good. Oh, thank God. I said, thank God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I plan to bust her up. If I get on the team, I'm really going to try to bust it up. You know, it's, it's great competition. I have no pressure. She got most of the pressure. You know, it's Team USA. Um, of course, I'm rooting for them when I get to Paris. But when we step on that court, I'm trying to <laughs> – if I score in her face, I'm coming out because I don't want to play anymore because I don't want her to get any get back. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, definitely a, uh, a little love competition, friendly competition. So, uh, hopefully I make it. It'll be fun. It'll be great for Connecticut. Um but yeah, always. I'm trying to bust her up. Put that in there. I'm telling you. He's <laughs> our. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yeah. I, I think it'd be beneficial more so for uh, Brianna. Uh, she's coming off. I mean, it's hard to come off injury and play this type of schedule and uh, try to keep that same momentum and pace when you're fresh from the beginning of the season. Now you're in the middle of the season and uh, rest is coming off a of back to back. She played a lot of minutes as well. So uh, I think just mainly for her and, of course, for our team. And uh, we got to kind of put that loss behind us because the two teams that we're going to face is they're tough. You know, they're tough teams. And uh, we got to be prepared mentally more than anything. And uh, hopefully the physical part, you know, starts to roll again. So uh, not using it as an excuse, but uh, some rest would be nice. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everyone.